All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to populate formulas for new rows in Google Sheets. So here you can see we have a formula for net profit and for margin, but we have some rows that this is missing for. And so very quickly, we can just simply select those cells. And then on the lower right, there's that blue circle. If I click and drag, I can drag that formula down. So I can drag it down all the way if I like manually, or if you double click, it will autofill for any rows that the next one is filled in. So if there was a gap here, so if we undo, let's say we move this gap here, so 1250, if we do this, it will only fill to here. So as long as this is uninterrupted and they have values in this column, then this will fill down the whole way. So that's just something to keep in mind, and it's looking to the one next to it. So if we look down, now it is auto-filled all the way down here. So the issue is, if we have another row of data, we're going to have the same issue. So we could auto-fill this down below, and you can see that, and that results in a zero here, and a div by zero error in this column. So there's a couple of ways you can deal with this. Some Sometimes um, for people this doesn't bother them. Um, maybe you don't mind the zero, but this looks awful, so you can add an if error around this, and that just puts it as a blank. You could even put, for example, a dash in there just so you can tell that something is there. And so that's how some people will handle that. Uh, another thing you could do is say if b86 equals blank and then do nothing. So you can do the same thing here or leave it like that. In this case, if we drag that down, you can see now that's blank and this is there. And so if we just copy, for example, uh, a row down here you can see now it automatically fills so that's a couple of ways you can deal with that another way you can deal with this potentially depending upon the formula is actually to do an array formula and so I'm going to show you how to do that uh, let's go ahead and look at these formulas real quick so this net profit is total sale minus posters cost minus line item cost and then we're using a net margin here so it's the net profit divided by line item total. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like. So if we do array formula here, we can do G3 to G. And so this is going to look at the whole column minus, and we could take our postage cost here, minus our line item cost here. And we can just close that. And you can see that now it populates all the way down but we do have that zero again down here. So sometimes that's not an issue, but if it is, we can put a if statement before this, and maybe we'll say if B3 equals to blank, and then we're gonna do a double comma. And so what this says is if B is blank, we're not gonna do anything. And so in Excel, usually you do something like this with a blank, and so you can do that. Um, you could say no data as well, NA or whatever it is. And so if we take a look now, you can see that Bob says NA. But in Google Sheets, you can actually just even leave this blank and it won't fill anything down below. So you can see now it's just blank. So we could do the same thing with margin. So we could even copy this formula here and we'll just modify it. And so we'll just take that last part and do L3 divided by H3. And there we go. We have that populated down. And so now if we take a row here and copy this down, it automatically fills. So keep in mind, this doesn't work with every formula. There are some formulas that don't work. So for example, index match formulas don't really work well in arrays uh, or some ifs. You can use some if, but that's a different function. You can check it, take a look at uh, my some if video for more ways to do that. But in general, if you're just doing some stuff like this where you're just uh, manipulating some columns like this. This will work great. And then one last thing I want to show you before we sign off on this is how to tuck this formula up into the header. So at the moment, if I delete this cell, then that formula is deleted. And so sometimes what happens is maybe you delete this row and they're like, oh no, what happened? My formula, what happened to the formula? And it's because that formula is right here and that populates the whole row. So if these cells get deleted, then the formula disappears. So if we delete this again, you can see that yellow background cell is gone and those formulas are gone. 
So one thing you can do is tuck these up into the header. So I'm going to copy this formula here or cut it. And then here, net profit, I'm going to do a little magic here and you can do this as well. So equals, and then we're going to do this curly brace. And then I'm just going to put this header in a string. So I'm just going to wrap it with two double quotes here. And then I'm going to do a semicolon. And so a semicolon means new row. And then I'm going to paste that formula right back in. And then I'm going to finish out with a curly brace and close. And so now you can see basically we have this curly brace here, curly brace here, our header here wrapped in double quotes. And then we just use this semicolon to tell it to put this below. And so now the formula is not here. So if we delete this top row, it's still working, but you can see our margin went away because we did not put that up in the top. So let's go ahead and do that as well. And go up in here and we're going to do the same thing equals curly brace, double quote, double quote, semicolon and our formula. And then we're going to end with that curly brace and then we're done. All right. So now we're filled all the way down. We can delete our top row and it doesn't break anything. If we go down here, let's go ahead and copy our data down and it automatically fills. You can even skip a row and it fills automatically. All right, so that's it for today's video on populating formulas for new rows in Google Sheets. Make sure to take a gander at our other videos for more tutorials on Google Sheets. We also have a bunch on AppScript. If this video was helpful for you, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.